Number 10, Kareena Kapoor. Kareena Kapoor is a very popular Indian actress who has appeared in many Hindi films, winning numerous awards, nominations, writing three books, and having her own retail clothing line. In 2016, Kareena gave birth to her first child at the age of 36 and quickly got to work to lose the post pregnancy weight. In order to achieve this, she followed a rigid diet plan, extensive yoga routine, and even apparently had an orange juice diet. Despite her many awards, accomplishments, and seemingly positive outlook, people online were quick to criticize her change in weight after the pregnancy, even those who had previously made comments about her being too large or chubby. People flocked to her Instagram to make comments saying things like, she looks like a skeleton, malnutrition problem, what happened with Karina, she lost her beauty, and many more inappropriate and damaging comments. It seems Karina can't catch a break, as after gaining weight again due to her second pregnancy, she was called fat by another Pakistani actress, Hiramani. Number 9. Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson, a famous singer and actress who launched her career on American Idol, was another celebrity who fell under public criticism after losing weight. In just about a year, she managed to lose an incredible 80 pounds. She stated that she was taking on the drastic change in order to set a better example for her son, as she believed the root of her weight issues came from unhealthy and harmful eating habits. In order to lose the weight, Jennifer completely transformed her diet with the help of Weight Watchers and was excited to share the story of her journey on talk shows like Oprah. Unfortunately, it seems that people watching her transformation did not share her excitement about the change. Fans and viewers believe that because she was a celebrity who has personal chefs, nutritionists, and the organization of Weight Watchers to access easily, that she didn't actually have to work hard to achieve her weight loss. Adele was also dragged in as she commented on a scenario where Jennifer had recommended Weight Watchers to her, and she said she'd been pretty offended by it. Number seven, David Harbour. During a 2017 interview with the rap, David Harbour talked about his ironic experience auditioning to play the blob in a Wolverine movie. When David Harbour auditioned to play the role, he ended up getting told by the director that he should probably shed some pounds, despite the fact that he was auditioning to play a character named the blob. David said in the interview, quote, he was like, David, look, you're wonderful. We really think you're just a great actor. We're just concerned. We're really concerned. And I was like, why? What's your concern? I'm good to go. I'm available. Let's do this. And they were like, no, it's just you lifted up your shirt and we saw the we're just a little worried about your health. And I was like, wait a minute, dude, pause for a second. You are telling me I'm too fat to play the blob. That's awesome. I have to get the F back to New York. That's my audition. So I didn't get the blob. And personally, this is one I find somewhat hilarious just because of how ridiculous it is. Number six, Kate Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale says that when she auditioned for Michael Bay's Pearl Harbor right after giving birth, Mr. Bay told her she'd quote unquote have to work out if she got the part. Kate told the story on the Graham Norton show saying quote, I don't think I fit the type of actress Michael Bay had met before. I think he was baffled by me because my boobs weren't bigger than my head and I wasn't blonde. I just had my daughter and had lost weight, but was told that if I got the part, I'd have to work out. And I just didn't understand why a 1940s nurse would do that." End quote. Apparently, the director then continued to insult her body through the production process of the movie. Kate's right. A 1940s nurse wouldn't do that. A lot of things in that movie aren't accurate. But honestly, have you seen a Michael Bay film? Number five, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill said in an interview with Men's Health magazine, when he auditioned to play James Bond in a film, the director told him he was too chubby, quote unquote, for the role. To audition, Cavill said he had to walk out with just a towel on, saying, quote, I remember the director, Martin Campbell, saying, looking a little chubby there, Henry, end quote, which, <laughs> screw you, dude, that's kind of rude, what the hell? But Cavill said he was following a poor diet at the time, and overall, the director's comment made him rethink his physical health and how he eats. I don't know how to train for a diet, he told the publication. Continuing, and I'm glad Martin said something because I respond well to truth. It helps me get better. Again, it's great to see an actor take these things in a positive way, but it just goes to show the tough skin actors are required to have when they're in Hollywood. Number four, Mindy Calling. Mindy Calling's story is a lot like Amy Schumer's actually. Before The Office, a network offered Mindy Calling a sketch comedy show based on her own life, which is great. 
Who better to play a person than that person? So it's a little strange though that this same network made Mindy audition for her own part and then rejected her from the role because she wasn't quote unquote considered attractive or funny enough to play herself. What? She told The Guardian quote, that network is no longer on the air and The Office went on to be one of NBC's most hit shows in years. I feel like karmically I was vindicated, but at the time it felt terrible, unquote. Number three, Mama June. June Shannon, more commonly known to fans and viewers as Mama June, gained her celebrity status from being a main character on the reality series Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, a series which focused on her daughter, young country pageant queen, Honey Boo Boo. This show seemed to be a cultural phenomenon when it came out, turning millions of eyes towards the family and as a result, making them a lot of money. A few years ago, Mama June underwent multiple surgeries in order to try and completely transform the look of her body. These include a gastric sleeve and having her breasts altered. She even managed to lose so much weight that she had surgery to remove all the excess skin left on her body. The reason for the changes seemed to have been a result of body image issues. Her daughter saying that even after the transformation, she still sees herself as fat. Fans were left upset by the drastic change because they believed that she was taking advantage of her fame and money to make far too extreme changes to her body. She also continues to receive criticism from fans for promoting things like weight loss drinks in ads on her social media pages. Number two, Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson, an Australian actress you likely know best for her performance as Fat Amy in the Pitch Perfect series, or perhaps her nightmarish involvement in the live action Cats. Whatever you know her from, it's easy to identify her as a character actress, as she was often cast to play the plus sized comic relief character, never really being known for many serious roles. In 2020, she made the decision to make a change to her body, starting what she called her year of fitness. She spoke about trying to defeat her bad habit of emotional eating. After a year, she stunned the public with just how much her body had changed due to her efforts and said that she was very proud of maintaining the weight loss and managing her eating issues. But despite her own confidence and pride, a lot of people criticized the change and Rebel commented on how she had received more media attention over her body than over any of her work related achievements. Fans were upset that she was apparently sending the message that you need to be skinny to be successful, saying that she had given in to the pressure of the industry. She even received negative comments from her Hollywood team, who told her that it was a bad choice, as it would make her harder to find work after her success of being the funny fat girl in movies and television. Number one, Adele. Adele Adkins, more famously known by just her first name of Adele, is a very famous singer, constantly topping charts and making headlines for her incredibly popular music. In 2019, Adele first started losing weight and over time lost around a whopping 100 pounds. She credits the weight loss to her rigid fitness routine, which includes deadlifting, boxing, and circuit training. She also commented on how fitness improved her mental health, saying it improved her anxiety and not having to look at her phone so much. Adele received very similar criticism to Rebel Wilson, as many of her fans viewed her as a role model for plus size women and how you don't have to be skinny to be successful. They took to social media saying things like, skinny Adele feels like a betrayal. They felt that the plus size community had been responsible responsible for her fame. So when she lost the weight, they saw it as a betrayal of the people and community who had gotten her to where she is. In response, Adele said that she remains body positive no matter what size she is. She says she understands why some women were hurt, but she's still the same person and she did it for herself and not anyone else, which I think is a very important sentiment to keep in mind when considering changing any aspect of yourself. At number 10, we have the stunning supermodel Ashley Graham. Ashley revealed her experience of being a plus size model in 2017 through the Las Vegas Review Journal, where she admitted to constantly being on the receiving end of fat shaming and bullying comments, but couldn't foresee the pressure of needing to be thin at first. She detailed how this impacted her up to the point of the active pursuit of her modeling career. Ashley also recalled in the interview at the time when a mall talent agency suggested she drop a few pounds so she could quote, become a model. Ashley discussed not feeling too hurt about remarks like these until her father soon joined the bandwagon of body shaming. She admitted, the really hard moment was when my dad said, honey, if an agent is telling you to lose weight, then maybe you should lose weight. I was 15 standing in our living room having a moment I will never forget. I never had a parent tell me to lose weight and it
get hurt. But rather than blame her father for his words, Ashley chose instead to place the blame on the modeling industry and their unrealistic standards for beauty. In light of her father's words, Ashley described him to be thinking like a businessman and knew that it wasn't his lack of love for her, but his drive to help her succeed being the reason behind it all. At number 8 we have friend star Jennifer Aniston who told Rolling Stone back in 1996 that her agent informed her to slim down to conform to Hollywood's it list. When Jennifer recalled her experience of needing to make it in Hollywood, she described the occurrence as such. My agent gave it to me straight. The disgusting thing of Hollywood, I wasn't getting lots of jobs because I was too heavy. Jennifer was reported to have lost an entirety of 30 pounds before her audition for the hit sitcom Friends, adding that she never believed she would have been cast as main character Rachel Green if she hadn't taken on the decision to lose weight as suggested. Number 7. Khloe Kardashian Khloe Kardashian, one of the members of the reality famous Kardashian family, is definitely not the first member of the family to undergo changes to her body, but she definitely was one of those who received harsh criticism for it. After having her child with Tristan Thompson, Khloe was another celeb to take to the gym to start losing the pregnancy weight. Also, potentially in response to the fans of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, who would refer to Khloe as the fat sister. Khloe states that the gym was her escape, managing to lose an impressive 60 pounds and continuing to stay fit to this day. Unfortunately, a lot of fans were not so impressed by the weight loss, instead choosing to be offended and disappointed about the situation. They said that Khloe's plus size presence on the show had made her a more relatable and endearing character. Amy Schumer said that Khloe had been a role model for little girls to be themselves, but that after Khloe lost weight, she was no longer suitable as an example. Good Place actress Jamila Jamil also commented on the situation in response to an Instagram post by Chloe where she said, Two things a girl wants. One, lose weight. Two, eat. Jamil responded by saying that had made her sad and that the industry had fat shamed her into a prison of self critique. Number six, Gabby Sidibe. Gabby Sidibe is another celebrity who has faced body shaming criticism on both sides of the spectrum. Gabby, who started her acting career in 2009 with the film Precious, was often criticized for her looks and size. Despite her numerous awards and nominations and clear talent in acting, Howard Stern even took to calling her enormous, though other actors, including Whoopi Goldberg, were quick to defend her. After being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, she underwent a weight loss surgery, which transformed her stomach into a smaller size. Gabby stated that without the surgery, she never would have lost weight and seemed to be confident with her new body and look. However, a lot of people criticized her method of weight loss, looking down on her choice to receive a surgery in order to transform transform her body. She responded by saying she's not bothered by these comments, stating that it's her body and people should focus on their own. While controversial to some people, she's not the only big name to undergo weight loss surgery. Number 5. Mariah Carey Mariah Carey is a singer who was most popular in the 90s and has managed to ride that fame to the current day. Most likely, a lot of that can be attributed to her holiday hit, All I Want For Christmas Is You. Coming back year after year to top Google searches and blare over grocery store speakers. A few years ago, Mariah appeared looking suddenly a bit skinnier. While there was some argument over how she lost the weight, it was revealed that she had likely undergone a gastric sleeve surgery. Mariah said that she had chosen to lose weight and undergo the surgery because she had never felt comfortable with her body due to body shamers, online commenters, and others critiquing her weight fluctuations. Unfortunately, the choice seemed to just bring more commenters and shamers towards her. People seemed shocked that she would get the surgery without having a major weight or medical problem, and even criticized besides the doctor that had agreed to perform it. Number 4. Megan Trainer. Megan Trainer, the singer of All About That Bass fame, is another celeb to join the list of those who wanted to change and improve their lifestyle when having children. After having her child, she appeared at least 20 pounds lighter than she had previously been. Fans were shocked to say the least when they saw that the change had taken place. Her most famous song seemed to be about body positivity and loving yourself, no matter what you looked like, and especially if you were plus sized. So, similar to Ashley Graham, fans saw her weight loss as going against her message of acceptance and being comfortable in your own skin. Questioning if she was just another celeb to preach about going against expectations just to succumb to them herself. But Megan states her reasons for weight loss as wanting to have a better lifestyle, feel better mentally, and apparently even saying, I just want to live forever man. I want to stay looking young forever. Me too Megan. She was also attacked by online commenters who made fun of her for losing the base that had made her as famous as she is. While facing criticism, many also believe that she's still a true role model to fans for how to change your lifestyle in a healthy and positive way. At number 3 we have Mean Girl
Girls actress and former behind-the-screen boss lady for SNL. This comedian, writer, producer, and playwright genius made her big break in Hollywood with Saturday Night Live. But her transition from writing for the show behind the scenes to being on screen during filming came with some complications. When Lorne Michaels brought about the decision, Tina was heavily encouraged to lose a minimum of 30 pounds. Reportedly, Hollywood agent Sue Menchers informed Lorne that Tina did not have the look to be on screen. At the time, Tina had no other words to listen to but Sue's, which resulted in her dropping the recommended weight and then some to transform her overall look. Conclusively, Tina eventually became so thin that her friends were growing concerned about whether or not the comedian was starving herself. Nowadays though, Tina has had a completely different and more mature mindset than that of the one before and has molded herself far more comfortably into her current body. Good on Tina for no longer bending to Hollywood's extremely expectant will. At number 2 we have Rising Euphoria star Jacob Elordi. His role as Nate Jacobs is considered to be his most popular, alongside his leaning role and reprisal for Noah Flynn in Netflix's original franchise The Kissing Booth. When the Australian native sat down with Men's Health magazine in 2020, Jacob admitted that the fitness routine for TKB resulted in him keeping himself busy in the gym twice a day for the full 7 days a week. Quote, I trained extensively for the first film because it said it in the script. I was so terribly nervous that I wouldn't be what the script wanted me to be. And according to Men's Health, the comments and suggestions surrounding Jacob's physical appearance forced him into a dark corner of feeling like fans were solely focused on his looks and not the work he put into acting out his roles. He described being bothered by everyone's need to talk about his body once he was thrown into the world of being in the spotlight at a young age. Jacob also opened up about his decision to get smaller for his HBO role in Euphoria. Discussed his reconsideration of how he looks at his body and not to make the same mistake of training to prepare for the Kissing Booth sequel. In short, he said the first film was all about sculpting and making sure I had this figure that I thought the character needed. Now it's much more functional as opposed to actual aesthetics. At number one, we have probably one of the most extreme celebrity stories of being forced to drop pounds to fit Hollywood's expectations. For this, we have a late icon by the name of Judy Garland, who was an actress and singer in her time. Despite her situation not emerging years and years later, Judy faced quite harrowing conditions throughout her career. Her suffering reportedly started at just about 14 years old when she successfully appeared role in her first featured film, a college football inspired musical called Pigskin Parade. There were claims made that while Judy was filming her scenes, MGM as a quote, fat little pig with pigtails. Of course, back in 1936, the contracts for studios were outrageous and producers practically had endless con their actors. So what did they do with her? Well, they forced Judy to partake in her first diet where apparently food was literally being ripped out of her young hand. The next few years showed no signs of slowing down either. When Judy was 18, she landed her most prominent role in The Wizard of Oz. And where things seemed great on screen, they were anything but off screen. It was also revealed at one point that for this feature, Judy had no choice but to go on yet another diet of consuming only coffee and chicken soup, as well as needing to smoke 80 cigarettes a day to curb her appetite. Even worse, as if it could get any worse, Judy was reported fed a pill typically made to prevent her from feeling hungry. The horrific treatment Judy suffered at the hands of her production company went on to damage her health lifelong, as she suffered from eating disorders throughout the remainder of it. Coming in at number 10 today, we have Mindy Kaling. Earlier this year, Mindy Kaling opened up about how she changed her view on working out and what the results had on her body, with the 43-year-old posting a series of stunning photos of herself looking fit and strong while wearing a stunning white strapless dress. A lot of fans in the comments started to call her out for being super skinny, with one fan saying, oh my god, for real, how did you get so skinny? Please share your secret, another fan would say, you're just gonna gain it all back. Back in May, Mindy would sit down with self for an interview and she would say, in my 20s I thought working out was only effective if it was punishing. You hated it and it was kind of solitary. While Mindy decided to take a different approach to her workouts this time around, she decided to turn walking into a hobby. At least once a day, Mindy will take time out of her day to dedicate it to walking. And if she has four to five times in the day where she can have any time to herself, she also dedicates that time to walking so she won't sit around and play on her phone. Mindy has also opted to do strength training, yoga, and group fitness classes when she has the chance. On top of her new fitness schedule, she's also opted to take on a strict diet that consists of low carbs and many vegetables and fruits. Overall, Mindy has been pretty open about eating anything. While Mindy has stated that it's pretty hard to say how much weight she's lost altogether because she doesn't weigh herself, 
Her results have been pretty stunning and she looks great. Coming at number 9, Bella Hadid. Bella Hadid is one of the highest paid models in the industry thanks to her strict diet and workout plan. She's been able to maintain a stunning figure. However, when Bella hit the runway for Paris Fashion Week, fans would come for the star and state that she looked extremely too skinny. Even though it was such an iconic moment not only for fashion and art, there were a lot of people questioning if the spray on dress was fashion or was it just iconic because she was skinny. With many fans stating that Bella looks like she lost 20 pounds when she didn't need to, it brought us all to question where the fashion era is going now. For those of us who remember living in the trend of hip hugging jeans and really skinny chic era in the 1990s, the misogynist Nadar of the fashion industry when catwalks were full of women who frankly looked really sick. While the industry changed just for a short amount of time, it seems like Paris was once again filled with thigh gaps and jutting hip bones. Seems like we're going back to times where the industry insists that thinness equals beauty. However, fashion is so much more than objectifying ourselves to meet what the industry says is beautiful. While Bella couldn't control her shivering on the already chilly runway, as the material hit her skin and she had to breathe in its thick glue odor, it didn't stop her from saying, honey, cold is an understatement. I really blacked out. Still, it was the best day of my life, which makes us ask the better question. Is meeting the industry standards fashion or is Bella just miserable? Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number eight, Doja Cat. This year, Doja Cat got sick of trolls who were constantly commenting on her body online. Back in June, Doja went on Instagram and she used it as an opportunity to address people who think it's okay to make remarks about her weight. With the 26 year old filming herself sitting in front of her laptop, she got Surrey to recite a passage that she wrote in response to people saying that she was too skinny and making creepy comments about her body. In the video, Doja decided to not only hold anything back as she aired out her haters and she also used the time to make it clear that it's never okay to body shame anyone. In the passage, Doja got Suri to say, do I have something to say? A lot of you bees keep bringing up how I'm skinny and won't shut the F up because you think it's okay to speak when it's literally my effing choice to eat more healthy and work out. I'm really effing sick and tired of y'all talking about my body. Doja would then continue to air out her haters by saying, I used to be thick and forever, that's going to be your problem. Your problem, not mine. So you can keep on suffering about how my body looks. B, I'm living my best life and I'm happy. Be sad. But Doja adding that it was crazy that fans didn't realize how creepy they sounded when they were comparing her body to a doll. She would end up laughing at the end of the video with Suri saying LOL on repeat. At number six, we have the legendary model Tyra Banks. Now Tyra holds many titles, most of which are TV personality, businesswoman, producer, producer, actress, and writer. But among those, no one can ever forget how she made a huge name for herself for modeling. Still, Tyra, who is arguably one of the greatest supermodels to exist, once told Business Insider about how she faced a lot of body image difficulties and unrealistic weight expectations while she worked in the modeling industry. In the sit down, she took a trip down memory lane when describing how she was referred to as too big by Milan Fashion Week designers during the height of her career in her younger days. Apparently, they informed her mother that her figure was getting too full, especially in her butt. And following this, Tyra also received a list of designers who no longer had any interest in working with her. Upon the revelation, Tyra cried to her mother about her then options, where she detailed, I was like, mom, okay, what should I do? Should I diet? Should I work out twice a day? Should I just have salads for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Thankfully, Tyra recalled her mom instantly shutting down her ideas and made sure to be clear when she stated how she would be damned if her daughter starved for the modeling industry. At number five, we have English actor Sam Claflin. In 2000, in 2017, Sam spoke with the Sydney Morning Herald that he was struggling with major self-confidence and body image issues while he worked in the film industry. He reminisced about one particular time when he was doing a job and someone forced him to pull his shirt up. They then began grabbing his body, telling him he needed to lose weight. In another instance, Sam recalled being slapped like a piece of meat. To summarize his overall feelings about the issue, Sam stated, I'm not saying it's anywhere near as bad as what women go through, but I, as an actor approaching each job, am insecure especially when I have to take my top off in it. I get really worked up to the point where I spend hours and hours in the gym and not eating for weeks to achieve what I think they're going for. Sam continued by adding that the pressure to maintain a muscular and slim physique portrayed an unrealistic body image that is practically unobtainable. In Sam's words, this achievement is quote, anything but normal. 
And number two, Lauren Ash. Superstore actor Lauren Ash opened up about her dramatic weight loss and backlash she received because it was honestly hurtful to read. Back in May, Lauren posted a photo with the caption, you know what's fun? When you're living in a larger body, people say that they're really concerned about your health and then when you transition into a smaller body, people post that they're concerned for your health. Starting to think that there's no winning as a woman. After losing a huge amount of weight over the years, it hasn't stopped people from commenting or DMing the actress about their thoughts surrounding the idea of her weight loss. While the star looks happy and healthy, she can't seem to get over the fact that people have been telling her that she is no longer a role model because she lost weight, as she can't understand why her body was the only thing that made people think she was a role model as she's never once promoted her weight loss and she never would. While the actor is in a smaller body than she was a year ago, she explained that her body will continue to change throughout the years and she has no secret to what led to her weight loss. Coming in at number 10 is Jennifer Lawrence. In 2017 at Elle's Women in Hollywood event, Jennifer Lawrence spoke about the film industry's approach to body image. She told the story of when she was a young actress. She says she was asked to lose 15 pounds in two weeks for a part in a film, which is an insane request, but not only was she told to shed the weight, but she was forced to strip down and compare herself to other actresses who did not have the role. She said, quote, During this time, a female producer had me do a nude lineup with about five women who were much, much thinner than me. We are stood side by side with only tape covering our privates. After that degrading and humiliating lineup, the female producer told me I should use the naked photos of myself as inspiration for my diet. End quote. Anyone else feel their blood boiling? Because I kind of do, just a smidge, just a little bit. Yeah. She went on to say that the experience made her feel trapped and that she now continuously reminds herself that she deserves to be treated with respect. And I'm so glad she could take that horrible experience and spin it into a positive thing for herself. That's not easy. Number 9. Chris Pratt Before Chris Pratt landed the role of Scott Hatterberg in Moneyball, he says he was told he had to lose weight. While he did actually go through with the weight loss so that he would be cast in the film, he says he ended up doing it in a pretty unhealthy way, which is part of the problem. I think if a production asks an actor to lose weight, they should provide resources to do so, since they think it's as easy as just doing it. He told Vanity Fair that, quote, That was the first time I heard someone say, We're not going to cast you, you're too fat. So I decided to drop the weight like in wrestling. I couldn't afford a trainer, so it was all running and crash dieting and cutting alcohol. End quote. If you're going to tell someone to cut down and expect them to do it out of their own pocket when the industry is already expensive to be a part of, I don't know, maybe be a little less harsh about it. Number 8. Amy Schumer Amy Schumer may have been the writer of her film Trainwreck, but her control over the project stopped when it came to her own appearance in her own film that she wrote. She says that she was told she needed to lose weight in order to take on the lead role. On the Jonathan Ross show, Schumer jokingly described the experience by saying, quote, It was explained to me before I did that movie that if you weigh over 140 pounds as a woman in Hollywood, if you're on the screen, it will hurt people's eyes. So I lost some weight to do that, but never again. Again, she did this for her own film that she wrote. Number 7. Kim Kardashian Back in May after the Met Gala, Kim Kardashian started to face online backlash for continuing to hype her recent rapid weight loss, with the star previously receiving criticism for bragging about the fact that she dropped 16 pounds in 3 weeks to fit into Marilyn Monroe's iconic bedazzled dress during an appearance on the Today in June. The reality TV star would brag about how she was now 21 pounds down since before the Met Gala. Kim would even go on to say, I looked at it like a role. I wanted to wear this dress, it was really important to me. It actually taught me a lot about my lifestyle and my health and since afterwards, I continued to eat really healthy. Kim stating that she feels like she has more energy more than ever after cutting out much sugar and a lot of junk food. She didn't even realize that she was eating a lot of fried foods until she started to follow a strict diet. When Kim decided to cut out a lot of sugar and carbs for almost a month, she would then be slammed by Lily Reinhart who claimed it was disgusting for celebrities to admit that they were starving themselves considering they had a large influence. While Kim has gone on to try to calm her haters down by comparing her transformation work to actors such as Christian Bale, she also claimed that she was simply just beginning to eat healthier. With fans telling Kim that it isn't healthy to lose 21 pounds in 2 months, as it's not sustainable, Kim has continued to use her platform to visibly spread such toxic lifestyles. And number 5, Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh may be one 
one of the hottest young stars on the rise in Hollywood at the moment. But the climb to the top of Hollywood's food chain hasn't been the easiest for her. In an interview with Telegraph, Lawrence would open up about how film executives wanted her to change her look to lose weight when she started out in the movie business. Lawrence was 19 when she made the journey across England to the United States to audition for a series called Studio City. However, the producers on the show told her that if she wanted to succeed, then she needed to transform her appearance. All the things they were trying to change about her included her weight, look, the shape of her face, and the shape of her eyebrows. When Florence got into the film business, it made her feel like she made a massive mistake. Eventually, Florence was able to find roles that made her fall back in love with cinema, where she didn't feel the same pressures. When Florence decided to wear a sheer Valentino hot pink gown to Valentino's Couture Fashion Week show in Rome this year, while majority of us were wrapped around the fact that she looked so elegant and chic, many people weren't so kind and they began to body shame the actor for being too tiny, especially around the breast area. While Florence wasn't here for the shaming, she would state that it's easy for men to totally destroy a woman's body publicly and proudly for everyone to see. Number 4 Jessica Simpson Back in August, Jessica Simpson fans started to express their concern for the pop star after she appeared to be skinnier than ever. When she opted to post a new bikini photo that showcased her tiny waist and chiseled features, fans started to become extremely worried over the swimsuit photo as Jessica appeared to be extremely thin in the photos and her face was giving onlookers a glimpse of the bone structure underneath. Fans would then take to the comment section to voice their concerns for the X reality TV star's shrinking body. With one person writing, read your book and absolutely loved it, I hope you're taking care of yourself and prioritizing your health. Another would say, oh Jessica, there is a time you just gotta stop. Now this wouldn't be the first time fans have been worried about Jessica's health and overall weight as earlier this year, back in May, she posted another photo showing off her excessively thin frame. With many fans asking if the star is okay, it's not hard to notice that the star is completely unrecognizable. Now before recently, Jessica was always known to be pretty curvy and her new thin approach to fit into the industry has us wondering if there's something more concerning going on. While Jessica looks stunning both thin and curvy, it's hard to say if she's healthy or thriving. Number 3 Carrie Fisher Even when you are reprising an older version of a character you already played 30 years ago, some people in the industry still only care about how you look. Star Wars actress Carrie Fisher was pressured into losing 35 pounds in order to reprise her iconic role as Princess Leia in Star Wars The Force Awakens. She told Good Housekeeping, quote, Nothing changes. It's an appearance driven thing. I'm in a business where the only thing that matters is weight and appearance. That is so messed up. They might as well say get younger because that's how easy it is. It doesn't matter how great of an actress you are, it doesn't matter if you played the role iconically when you were younger, Hollywood is Hollywood. Maybe it needs to change. I don't know. Number two, Ashley Benson. In 2016, Ashley Benson was told she was quote unquote too fat for a role, to which she responded, quote, I'm a size two. I cried for 30 minutes, but then you have to let it just roll off your shoulders or it could cause a serious eating disorder, end quote. She told Ocean Drive, quote, A lot of people in this industry hear they need to lose weight more times than they should. It does make you stronger though, because if you let that affect you, you can't be in this industry. You'd go crazy. End quote. And that's the hard truth of it, really. Number one, Margaret Cho. And to end off this list is an example of just why this kind of behavior is dangerous. ABC told Margaret Cho that she was too overweight to play the part of herself in her semi autobiographical sitcom All American Girl. Cho ended up hospitalized with kidney failure from not eating. Years later, she told The Cut, quote, being called ugly and fat and disgusting to look at from the time I could barely understand what the words meant has scarred me so deep inside that I have learned to hunt, stalk, claim, own, and defend my own loveliness and my image of myself as stunningly gorgeous with a ruthlessness and a defensiveness that I fear for anyone who casually or jokingly questions it. End quote. Period. Exclamation mark. 